In this video, I will install MySQL Server on Mac OS X. I am using High Sierra version 10.13.1 and I am logged into the local computer as an administrator. First, we will download the installer. So locate the website MySQL Downloads. At the bottom of the page under MySQL Community Edition, click on Community GPU Downloads. On the next page, click on MySQL Community Server. And on the next page, scroll almost to the bottom, I will download this one, Mac OS 10.12 DMG Archive. When download is complete, initiate the installer and follow the steps. If you agree to the license terms, click Agree. I will use the default install location and click Install. Enter your username and password for the computer account you are logged into and click Install Software. When you are presented with this dialog box, don't hit OK yet. You need to write down this initial password. You will need it to log in for the first time after MySQL is fired up. I will take a snapshot using Command Shift 4 and draw a box around the dialog box. The snapshot will be placed on my desktop as an image file. You could also highlight the password and copy it to a text file, which is what I will do right now. Now it's safe to hit OK. When you hit Close, you are asked if you want to move the installer to the trash. I don't need it, so I will delete it. I will also eject this from the desktop. We will now start this server using Terminal. So open Terminal and type this path, sudo space slash usr slash local slash mysql slash support hyphen files slash mysql dot server space start hit enter now enter the password of the computer you are logged into success means you are logged in you can check on it with the graphical user interface by going to system preferences and open mysql you can also start and stop the server here now go back to terminal I will call up the directory to launch MySQL by typing cd space slash usr slash local slash mysql slash bin and hit enter. You can check your present working directory by typing pwd and hitting enter. Here is your current path and location. Now launch MySQL by typing period forward slash mysql space hyphen u space root space hyphen p and hit enter. Now enter the password you were supplied when you first installed MySQL Server. I saved mine to the desktop as an image file as well as a text file. Copying and pasting the password is not likely going to work, so I type it in. The password is not visible as you type. We're in, but if you try to use MySQL, you will be greeted with an error. This is because we have not yet changed the login password, so let's now change the password. I will quit out of MySQL and log back in again. Right, I've logged back in. To change the password, type the following and take note of the single quotation marks. Alter user, root with single quotation marks, at localhost with single quotation marks, identified by and type a new password enclosed in single quotation marks. Add a semicolon and hit enter. If I want to clear the screen, I simply hit Option Command L. There we have it, it's working. In a future tutorial, I will show you how to start MySQL from the terminal with less typing.